I went through hundreds of names. It was very, very difficult. I was not sure what the project should be called. Finally, there were two or three names that kind of stuck. The first one was Integral, which is of course a mathematical function, but it seemed to sound right with the theme of the story. Being the huge Yes fan that I am, I chose uh, Machine Messiah, which is uh, the first track from the drama album. The main evil character in the story is uh, the technocrat, and uh, Machine Messiah was just perfect. The inventor of religions, the evil alien that destroys life on Earth. Being also a huge Space 1999 fan, uh, science fiction TV series from the 70s by uh, the legendary Mr. Anderson. There's an episode somewhere in there um, that talks about a deadly engine, some kind of nuclear engine that destroys uh, life on Earth. And uh, the name of the engine is Queller Drive from the scientist that invented this. And so I went for Queller Drive and that's the one that stuck the longest. At that time I was uh, watching Babylon 5, the union of dockers who are responsible for loading and unloading the ships on the space station called Babylon 5. And they're called uh, the Dockers Guild, with an apostrophe after the S. And I said, brilliant, that's my name. It seemed to fit perfectly and uh, it became Dockers Guild. Uh, I moved the apostrophe and so there you have it. Mystic technocracy is a race of evil aliens. Uh, their chemistry is based on silicon and they're techno organic. And they live in this very strange world called Silix 4. And that became the name of the, f the full story, the five seasons. Then I had to find a name for the first album. I had to find something that was consistent, that made sense, that explained the contents of the first album. And so it became uh, season one, The Age of Ignorance. There are going to be five seasons uh, in this project, so season one seemed logical. And The Age of Ignorance is just a perfect description of our times. The story of uh, Mystic Technocracy is based on fact. I wrote it originally in 1990 when I wrote the first song, The Mystic Technocracy. Well, the main story came from a very simple observation. For 4,000 years, humans have been killing each other, butchering, torturing, pillaging, converting by force and doing all sorts of atrocities in the name of the same God. How can three religions that are supposed to be based on compassion and love and mutual respect turn into this permanent war machine of destruction? I tried to give my own answer to that. So I invented a science fiction story that uh, tried to explain all this. So there's this race of aliens, the technocrats, who live on a planet called Silix 4, where everything is based on uh, silicon, and uh, they see carbon-based life form as a threat. Because we evolve more rapidly, because we are more flexible, and so they proceed to destroying life everywhere in the world. What happens next is that the technocrat that visits Earth has a malfunction. So he crash lands on Earth and uh, tries to destroy life on Earth several times. And then when that fails and he's uh, severely damaged so he cannot accomplish his mission anymore, he resorts to uh, genetic manipulations and uh, he corrupts the DNA of all life forms on Earth, particularly humans, 
he makes them weak, easy to manipulate and convince and brainwash. And at the same time, he invents a uh, religion. There's a second race of aliens called the Blue Diamonds. Uh, that come from a planet called Carbonia. And they're the sworn enemies of the Technoprance. And they seem to be wanting to help humans. The scientists go through this mystical vision and the future is shown to them. Cliffhanger here is that the scientists have discovered how desperate the situation of mankind is, so they set up a secret organization called the Order of the Swarm. That will be solved or at least analyzed in more depth in season two. The project is uh, designed to progress through five albums called Seasons, and this was directly inspired uh, from Babylon 5. One of the great, brilliant ideas that Michael Straczynski had when he uh, developed Babylon 5 was that he had an entire arc. Every single episode was linked to all the other ones and to all the different seasons and it made one huge story. Now this is something that the press has not really understood. This part about the plot and the structure of the albums uh, has gone completely uh, unnoticed. Now, the cool thing uh, about these albums is that they are not structured like an opera or like a musical. They are structured really like a full season of a TV series. So, every album uh, has a pilot episode. The first album in particular also has a trailer. Uh, then each song is an episode. It always ends uh, with a cliffhanger. And I set myself little challenges and uh, little rules. Each album will have two instrumental songs. In the first album, the first instrumental song is the trailer, A Matter of Energy. And the second instrumental song is Prophecy. Another little challenge, uh, which was a little bit more difficult to implement, uh, was to have in each album two covers. Uh, the challenge was to find a song whose lyrics or theme or title or general mood would fit the story and could be plugged in as a full episode of the story at that particular point. So in the first album, the first cover is a, a wonderful song by David Bowie. The song is Loving the Alien. The music is beautiful, but what really inspired me about that song uh, were the lyrics. When the time came to develop this project, the song was so influential that I just had to put it in the album. And so it's there. The second song uh, is an instrumental called Prophecy, and it's by an obscure uh, French space rock band, which was immensely popular in Italy in the late 70s and early 80s. They're called the Rockets. And uh, they were basically the French Kiss with a science fiction twist. They appeared with uh, space costumes. Uh, their skin was completely covered in uh, shiny silver. They were bald, and so they looked like robots. They moved like robots, and they wrote a very particular blend of uh, space rock. In the next featurette we're going to get into the uh, depths of the music of the Docker's Guild project. Uh, I'll talk to you soon.